Hi, as an ardent cinema lover, I always used to wonder how film producers and distributors are taxed, and do they have any special deductions? Do you think there's any difference in taxation if a movie is released in December or if it's released in February? Hello, my dear friends. My name is Punarvas Jaykumar, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video. Let's discuss the taxation of film producers and film distributors. Rule number 9 capital A of the income tax rules empowers this deduction as a revenue expenditure and not as a capital expenditure. So what is the amount of deduction that is allowed? The rules define cost of production as the expenditure incurred on the production of the film except two things: preparation of the prints of the film and advertisement expenditure for instance the movie rrr was made with a budget of 350 crore excluding salaries to the actors and the director but adding everything it came up to almost around 600 crores if the producer spent 100 crores on preparing the prints and let's say another 100 crores on advertisements making the total around 800 crores What is allowed, my dear friends, would be just six hundred crores. Now, if S. S. Rajamouli was presented a Volvo car worth eighty lakhs from the producers, would it be allowed as an expenditure? Courts have held that remuneration paid in kind to the actors or such other members involved in the film shall also be included while computing the total cost of production. So yes, that would be allowed. So, if a producer sells all the rights of exhibition of the film in the previous year, the entire cost of production would be available as a deduction. An important point is it doesn't matter when the movie was released. So, if the rights of the movie KGF 2 was sold in the year 2020 2021, but the movie was released in 2022. Deduction will be allowed in 2021 if the producer sells all the rights of exhibition of the film in 2021. The same provision applies even to a film distributor. Here, cost of production is substituted by cost of acquisition. So, the producers can claim 600 crores and the acquirer, for example, Netflix can claim the cost of acquisition as a deduction. In RRR's case, as per the reports it was around 250 crores but what happens if the producer himself exhibits the film in some of the areas and sells the rights of exhibition of the film in some other areas for instance for the movie bahubali the producers took up the distribution themselves in southern india whereas for the other parts of our country and overseas as well distribution was given to karan johar's dharma productions Here the provisions are slightly different. If the film is released for exhibition on a commercial basis at least 90 days before the end of the relevant previous year, the entire cost of production of the film shall be allowed as deduction in computing the profits and gains of such previous year. However, if it is released within 90 days before the end of the previous year, then the quantum of deduction would be cost of production or amount realized by exhibiting the film and sale of rights of exhibition whichever is lesser hence in this case the quantum of deduction will vary if the film is released on or before 1st january and of the films that have been released after 1st january who seems difficult let's take a couple of examples my dear friends to understand KGF 2 released on 14th April 2022 The relevant previous year for this would be 22 23 The film's budget was around 100 crores but it crossed over 1200 crores worldwide So now if the producer had sold all the rights of the film in the previous year that is 22 23 then the entire 100 crore is allowed as a deduction Even if the producer had exhibited the film in some areas and sold the rights of the film in some other areas the entire cost of production of 100 crore 
would be allowed as a deduction since the film was released at least 90 days before the end of the relevant previous year that is before 31st march 2023 on the other hand rrr was released on 24th march 2022 relevant previous year would be 2122 if the producer had sold all the rights of the film in the previous year that is 2122 then the entire 600 crores is allowed as a deduction but if the producer had exhibited the film in some areas and sold the rights of the film in some other areas then deduction would be as under 1 cost of production in this case 600 crore 2 amount realized by the sale of tickets and sale of rights till 31st march 2022 in this case as per the official statistics it was around 477.5 crore in 8 days whichever is less 600 or 477.5 whichever is less hence 477.5 crores is allowed as a deduction so the producers of rrr would offer 477.5 crores that is the collection minus 477.5 crores that is the deduction that is nil as their income from pgbp what would happen you may ask to the difference of 600 minus 477.5 that is 112 and a half crores that my dear friends would be allowed in the year 2223 similarly pushpa movie was made on a budget of 170 crores and grossed over 360 crores worldwide the entire 170 crore would be allowed as a deduction in the year 2122 since the movie was released on 17th december 2021 which is before 1st january 2022 I hope you understood this concept now. Let us discuss quickly three other very very interesting questions. Question number 1. The movie Time Machine centered around time travel starring Amir Khan and Helm by ace director Shekhar Kapoor who incidentally is a chartered accountant was filmed almost 100% but was abandoned towards the end. Now assuming the cost of production for this movie was around let's say 100 crore would this be allowed as a deduction under rule 9a there were a lot of controversy over the tax treatment of similar such abandoned movies the cbdt released a circular settling this issue they clarified that the cost of production of an abandoned movie is a revenue expenditure allowable under section 37 subsection 1 very interesting Question number 2 Can I claim deduction under rule 9A if my film was not at all released in cinema halls but it was directly released on OTT platforms like Netflix Amazon Prime Hotstar etc Please note that deduction is allowed only if it is certified by the censor board Since censor board provisions don't apply to content on OTT rule 9 capital A is not applicable my dear friends Rule 9A does not hold any overriding effect on the other provisions of the Income Tax Act or the rules as such and it should be noted that in case of any expense which cannot be claimed as deduction under Rule 9A shall be claimed under Section 371 of the Income Tax Act if the expenditure was wholly and exclusively incurred for business third question in the year 2013 Lucia An independent Kannada film made by an ex-IT professional, Mr. Pawan Kumar, created history. The movie, a psychological thriller, was made on a total budget of 71 lakhs. It was the first ever crowd-funded movie in India, and Mr. Pawan raised around 51 lakhs from the general public in just 10 days. The movie was also sold to Udaya TV for about 95 lakhs in 2013. Now the question is out of 71 lakhs would 51 lakh be allowed as an expenditure because it came from other sources Now since it was used for producing a film my dear friends rule 9 capital A would apply Rule 9A is not concerned with the source of funds you could have taken a loan as well for your movie it doesn't matter rule 9A is only about expenditure But another interesting question 
would the 51 lakh be treated as donation and would it be taxed at the hands of the producers yes my dear friends under the head income from other sources under section 56 subsection 2 clause 10 sub clause a 56 to 10 a if the donation is more than rupees 50000 rupee very very interesting areas that we have discussed today hope you enjoyed the video my dear friends Please comment below what you feel about this video and do you need such videos in the future do let me know and also let me know what other topics in taxation or any other subject for that matter would interest you on which we can release more and more animated videos. Kindly like, share with all your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel Punarvas Jaikumar Law Classes. On that note, take care my dear friends, see you.